Hi guys, welcome back to Sherman's Kitchen. A pleasant good night to each and every one of you. If you're visiting my channel for the first time, I would like to welcome you to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be sharing a recipe with you guys for gulgula or banana fritters. Growing up on an island when I was small, we didn't have the neighborhood bakery, we didn't have Tim Hortons, or we didn't have the close by snack it to go to so all our snacks were made by our grandma or mom or aunts or even our neighbors so if you want to see how I'm making this recipe come on down and let's get cooking for the gulgula or banana fritters we will need three ripe bananas the riper the banana is the better for you because you won't have to use a lot of sugar so I'm gonna peel these and start mashing them up. So a nice way to use up your ripened bananas, this is one way. So I'm gonna start mashing these up. And this was a recipe that was requested more than once on my channel. And I can remember just the other day, our friend Shenna had requested this because she saw some ripe banana in my fruit bowl. So Shanna, if you're watching, just want you to know that this recipe was made today because you requested and some other of my YouTube friends. So after we finish mashing the banana, and I don't wanna take the credit because a little Natalie girl who loved to help in the kitchen mash that banana for me we're gonna add some mixed essence and i'm using the guyana alcohol free brand so i'll add about a teaspoon right into the bananas and we're gonna add quarter cup of brown sugar into the bananas you can use white sugar as well Today I'm using brown and we're gonna mix this up. This give a nice scent, right? Yeah. A beautiful aroma. It smells good. Mm -hmm. So here now, in this bowl, I have one cup of flour. In this dish here, I have one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. I have one teaspoon of baking powder and I have a pinch of salt. I'm gonna also leave all the measurement in the description below. So we're gonna give all this a mix. And if you're making a bigger batch, of course you will need to add more bananas that we mix in all the dry ingredients. We're gonna add our wet ingredient I really like the smell of this bananas and essence and all that. So we're gonna add all this into the dry ingredients. And we're gonna mix this up together to a nice wettish kind of dough. The texture of a soft sticky dough we're looking for. If the bananas have enough moisture, we might not need any water in here. But I'll mix, and if I have to, you can add milk or you can add water. So the dough is perfectly done. I didn't have to add any milk or any water. I'm gonna cover it down and leave it for a few minutes to rest. And then I will come back and start the frying process. This is a very simple recipe, a great way to use up your ripened bananas and your family will enjoy a sweet treat. So we had our dough sitting for a little bit. Now I'm gonna start frying these babies up. So I'm gonna drop them in with a spoon, just like when we're frying palauri. Mm 
check the colors out already. They always come out with that nice brown color on the outside. And they have that nice banana flavor in the inside. This can also be made without bananas, but this is a banana version today. Look how nice they're looking. We always want to see that beautiful golden brown or close to a darker brown on the finish. So here is our beautiful golgala or banana fritters. What I'm gonna do, I separate some because I wanna make a little bit of a decoration. So I'm gonna put some powdered sugar because this reminds me of Timbits or little donuts. So I'm just gonna sprinkle some powdered sugar on some. And we're gonna make this with a twist here tonight. Look at that, beautiful, right? So all my friends and all my YouTube family, if you're a big fan of bananas, or if you love Golgola, please come on down and let's have a treat. I have tea for everyone. If you never tried before, you're still invited because this will give you an opportunity to taste a beautiful, delicious, sweet treat made with bananas. So here it is guys, we're gonna do our taste test and I, I'm gonna let my little helper in the kitchen taste as well because I want her opinion on this. So Natalie, if you wanna go ahead, sit down, sit down here. Sorry. Okay, let us know what you think about the Golgola. Um. Try it. I can hear mm. some crunch there. I know. It's so good. It's soft inside and crunchy outside. You like it? Yeah. Okay, so she approved it. So let me do my test now. And I'm gonna go in for a random one. And it have a nice, it's very nice and soft. And it have like a crust. And look how it looks from the inside. Cheers to all my friends and family. Mmm. Cheers. Wow. There is a crunch on the outside. And it's so nice and soft and fluffy on the inside. You can taste that nice rich banana and cinnamon flavor. Oh my God. This is such a good way to enjoy some bananas. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet and you're new to my channel, I hope you'll consider subscribing soon. Until then, stay blessed, stay safe. We love you guys. Bye, Bye for now. now.